Hello, my class, and welcome to your next maths lesson. In the previous lesson, we were looking at times in two digit numbers by one digit number. And in today's lesson, we will be carrying on from what we were learning in the previous lesson. So, in today's lesson, we will be looking at multiplying three digit numbers by sing a single digit number. So before we do that, please make sure that you have a pen and paper to start your work. And we are going to start with the arithmetic on the previous page. So pause the video now and answer the following questions. You will see that these questions are a variety of your times tables. So we're going to be doing different ones, but they are then obviously also going to be using, sorry, they're not actually, they're different times tables mixed up, but you'll see that they're much bigger numbers and you'll be using some um, of the strategies that we have learned to try and complete these questions. So the first question is 123 times by two. Then, is 142 times by 3, 325 times by 7, 231 times by 6, 301 times by 8, uh, 218 times by 5, 212 times by 6, 411 times by 2, 136 times by 8 and 135 times by 6. So pause the video and answer these questions from 1 to 10 and um, then we will carry on. So as mentioned in today's lesson, we are looking at multiplying three digit numbers by single digits. I want you to have a look at this question for a second. We have got calculate 132. So there is our 132. Let me get my pen up. We've got 132 times by three. And using these place value counters and the formal method, we are going to work this out. So as mentioned before, we have got three groups of 132. So we have a look. There is one group. There is one group. And there is one group. So we have three groups of 132. Now, if we are using the place value counters, what we can do is we can, sorry, we can draw across like this and then we can move these numbers, sorry, we can move the counters down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six counters here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine counters in my tens column. And then I've got four counters in my hundreds column. So my answer should be 496. If we use the formal written method that we were looking at in the previous lesson, we will take this number and times it into there, into there, and then into there. So let's work on this together. Three times by two is six, or two times by three is six. 30 times by three is 90. And then, Sorry, I've made a mistake here. There's actually only three there. So that should be 396. Let's start with this one again. So two times three is six, 30 times three is 90, and 100 times three is 300. 
my mistake was here. I thought there were four counters of hundreds, but there weren't. There are three. So there's three hundreds, nine tens, and six ones. So the answer should be 396. So 132 times by three is equal to 396. If we move on to the next one, it's asking you the same question. It is saying, what is 241 times by five? So we are doing this using our place value counters and the formal method that we have. So again, if I have a look at this, there's one, two, so 241. So that is one group. So there are five groups of those one, two, three, four, and five. There are five groups, five groups of 241. Now, if I'm going to add these up, we're going to add our ones, then add our tens, then add our hundreds. So if we add our ones, one, two, three, four, five, we have five ones. We have four, eight, 12, 16. We have 20 tens. And then we have two, four, six, eight, ten hundreds. But now you can see that there's a slight problem here. You know that we can't have more than nine in a column. So we can't have more than nine ones in a column or we exchange it for a 10 in this column. And if we have 10 tens, we have to exchange it for a hundred or we move it into the hundreds column. If we have 10 hundreds, they go into the thousands column. So I can already see that I've got five ones, which is fine, but my, my 20 tens is not going to be okay. It is too many tens because we know that 20 tens, 20 tens is equal to 200. So these two, or well, these 20 tens get exchanged for 200, and I'm going to add another two under there, and I'm going to put a zero here. So we've got, let me just write it above so you can see, we've got five there, we have zero there, and we've added two more tens to the hundreds, okay? Which now means we have 12 tens, which is the same as 1,200. So my answer should be 1,205. Let's check with our formal written method. One times by five is five. 40 times by five is 200. Okay. Five times by 200 is 1,000 plus the 200 there is 1,205. So with this in mind, I want you to explain to me, so explain to me what happened to our tens column. So pause the video now and write down something that will help you to remember what happens when we have too many ones or too many tens or too many hundreds in our columns. What happens to those numbers? And then what do we leave as the place value holder? Because we can't just leave that column empty. When I'm writing out a number, I will need my thousands, my hundreds, my tens and my ones. I can't just leave it blank. So what do we put here when we have got too many tens and it goes into? there so what, what what do we put there instead and i want you to tell me why we have no tens in our answer so pause the video now show me the working for this question and explain to me what happened to our tens column right now using those two methods that we have just discussed 
I would like you to pause the video now and work out these two questions. Well, it's the same question, but show me the two different ways of working them out. So in this column, in this one here, we're going to be drawing, and I will show you this just to start you off, that we have got 300, sorry, 345 times by four. So you should have one, two, there's 300. Um, let's change our color so you can see. There are four tens. And there are five ones. So that is one group. We need to have four of these. So there's one. Get our colors. And our last one with our hundreds, making sure that we've written them all out. As you can see, I've tried to separate them so that you can see the four groups of 345. So each group is a line. Hopefully you can see that. There is one group there. There's one group there. One group there. And one group there. There are four groups. So one, two, three, four groups of 345. So what you would do using your counters is you would move them all down, you count them all up. So starting with your ones, then moving to your tens, then moving to your hundreds. Remember, if you have more than nine, you take those nine counters, you take those 10 counters and you exchange it for something in the next column. So remember, 10 ones is equal to 100, I'm sorry, 10 ones is equal to 10, 10 tens is equal to 100, 10 hundreds is equal to 1,000. So remember that when you are working this out. So pause the video now and work this out, and then we will talk through the answers together. Okay. Once you've worked this out, hopefully you will have done what we have done here. So like I said, we've drawn our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. We have got four groups of 345. So there's 345, there's 345, there's 345, there's 345. I now need to add them all together. So if I look at this one, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I can count in fives, five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 ones, which is the same. 20 ones is the same as two tens. So I can add two tens on here, but this number now, I can't put anything in that column because there's nothing left. So I would be left with a zero. Let's count the amount of tens in this column. So we've got four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18. There are 18 tens in there. So I would be able to keep the eight, but then I will have to move one hundred here because remember 10 tens is equal to 100. And we have 18 tens, which means we have 180. So now I have eight down there and I've moved one over. And now I've got one, two, I've got three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen hundreds. Thirteen hundreds is the same as three hundreds and one thousand. So my answer should be using my counters, I couldn't see that my answer should be one thousand three hundred and eighty. If you did not get that using that uh, method, go have a look now and see where you have made a mistake and correct it for me. 
And then we will look at the formal written method to um, answer the rest of these questions. Okay, so using the formal written method, we are going to answer this question here. Find my, there he is. Okay, so it says we have five and we have got a five and a four. Sorry, I've just lost my, my cursor. That's fine. So we have got 345 times by four. And obviously, when we are working this out, we are timesing the four into five or five into four first. Then we are timesing it into the 40. Then we are timesing it into the um, into the 300. So let's work this out together. Lost my cursor again, sorry. So starting here, use a different color so you can see. Five times by four is 20. So I'm going to do my zero and I'm going to put my 20 down here. Then I'm going to go four times by or 40 times by four. And 40 times by four is going to give me 40, 60, 80. Um, sorry, 40, 80, 120, 160. Because if we remember our four times table, 4, 8, 12, 16. So 40 times by 4 will be 40, 80, 120, 160, plus the two tens we have here will make it 180. And then I'm going to put my 100 over there. Okay. Then we're going to say 300 times by 4. Again, using our three times table, we can go three, six, nine, twelve, or one thousand two hundred plus the one hundred will be one thousand three hundred. So your answer should be one thousand three hundred. Moving on. So what I would like you to do is using either one of those methods, either the formal written method or using the counters that you can draw. Can you please work out the following questions? 262 times by 4, 309 times by 5, 526 times by 3, 213 times by 6, 530 times by 2, 279 times by 9. So you can either use the formal written method that we were looking at, or you can use the columns, whichever one works best for you. On the side of the page, I'm going to write some steps to success for us to remember how to work these out. So First, you need to times or multiply your ones column two. If you have too many ones move them to the tens column. Three, multiply your tens and add any 
contains from the ones column full. You would multiply your hundreds hundreds column and add any uh, no any tens tens that were too many to fit into the tens column and at the bottom okay so it's a bit untidy but you will understand what we are saying so i will write them out um so when you are working these out remember that you will um I can actually add it here for you. So you will add, you multiply your ones column, then you will multiply your tens, then you will multiply your hundreds. If you have too many in the one column, you will then move it to the bottom. So for example, if you have 10 ones, you would move them into the, the tens column. And then you would multiply your tens and then add that one that you've moved. If you have too many tens, you would, if you have 10 tens, it becomes into the 100. And then you would put the 100 at the bottom. You would multiply your hundreds column and then add the 100 that has been put at the bottom. So, so I have redone those for you so you can see those steps to success in case you need them. But let's work through some of the questions together and hopefully you've got an answer for them. So 262 times by four, we would have gone two times by four, 60 times by four, 200 times by four. If you have more than 10 of each number, for example, 10 ones or 10, um, if you have uh, 10 tens, they would then move to the next column. So let's have a look if you've got this correct. So two times four is eight, six times four is six, 12, 18, 24, but it's 60 times by four, so it'll be 240, because it's 60, 120, 180, 240, which means we put the four there for the 40 and the two because it's 240 under the two column there, under the hundreds column, then we'd go 200 times by four is 800 plus the 200 would give me 10 hundreds, which is the same as a thousand. So I'm going to uncover the answers for you. Okay, read through them and check your working and see if you have gone wrong somewhere, see if you can correct it and see if you can follow um, the steps to success to correct your answers if you have got them incorrect. So 309 times by five is 1,545. 526 times by three is 1,578. What, uh, 213 times by 6 is 1,278, 530 times by 2 is 1,060, and 279 times by 4 is 1,116. I will go through that one with you just to better understand because we've got to do this, uh, we have these numbers twice here. So 9 times by 4 is 36, so I put the 6 there and my 30 and my 10s column. Then I go 70 times by 4 is 7, 14, 21, 28, so it's 280, plus 3 is 290, 300, 310. So I put my 10 there and I put my 300 
under my hundreds column. So two times, or it's 200 times by four is 800 plus the 300 from the tens column would give me 800, 900, 1000, 1100. So there's my 100 there, and then I've got my 1000 there. So if, um, sorry, there are 200 and, oh, sorry. There are 328 people at a concert. The tickets for the concert are eight pounds each. I'm just gonna clear this for us so that we can, okay. The tickets for the concert are eight pounds each. How much money does the concert make in total? So the question is asking us 328 times by eight. I'd like you to pause the video now and using the formal written method, work out this question. I want to remind you that the other way of doing this question was to expand it a little bit. So we had 328, uh, 328 times by eight. And we had eight times by eight, 20 times by eight, and 300 times by eight, because we obviously are timesing it into there, into there, and into there. And then you would get an answer. So you would work this all out and then you would add it up to get a final answer. The four more written method that we've been working out is not showing you this bit, this bit you are doing mentally. And then you are just keeping note if you have gone over the amount that you need to in each column on that side. So if we have a look at this question, Pause it now, work it out, and let's see our working. Your answer should have been 200 and, sorry, 2,624. So the organizers get 2,624 pounds from selling your tickets. If we show the working here, eight and eight is 64. So we've got our four there and our 60 goes into our tens column. Um, two, 20 times by eight is 16, which is 100, sorry, 160 plus the 60 would be 220. So there's my 20 from my, for my tens column and my 200 goes into my hundreds column. 300 times by eight is a 2,400 plus the two is 2,600, and that is how we got that answer. So your independent task today are the following questions. 217 times by four, 439 times by two, 108 times by six, and I would like you to use the formal written method to work that out. Then D is 163 times by five, three times by 240, and seven times by 131. Question two, a lorry driver drives 156 kilometers a day. How many kilometers will the lorry driver have traveled after three days, if that is how much he does in each day? And then there are seven year groups in school. There are 112 children in each year group. How many children are there in the whole school? Don't forget to share your answers on Tapestry with us and jot down any questions that you have. So during our live lessons, we can answer um, some of your questions. Please make sure that your answers are up, up, uploaded onto Tapestry by 4 p.m.